Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the flatten brush. So flatten brush is used to flat things, flat the surfaces. This is uh, widely used in uh, hard surface modeling where you want that nice uh, sharp corners, but this default brush setting is taking you nowhere. I'll, I'll just do one thing. I'll just increase the, I'll just increase the strength to one and then I just click a stroke there. Okay. And when I click a stroke there and you see nothing there, I'll just go to the brush and then increase the hardness and then just click there. Should be able to see things are becoming flat there, uh, all are coming to one level. Uh, but somewhere there is slight, uh, you know, um, fall off in this uh, plane. I could see that. And to make this uh, brush uh, better, I'm going to do one thing. That is, I'll be uh, going into the brush settings here. And then in the advanced area, I'll just enable this normal and plane. Okay, what that actually does is when I just click and drag it over, okay, it, it starts making the faces into one hard plane. Uh, why was that not actually happening when I was doing in the previous time is these two options do one thing that is uh, when I enable the normal, you know, all planes are pulled in one normal direction. Uh, and uh, if I don't use that, every time I change my stroke uh, based on the selected face, the faces are pulled in its own normal direction. Uh, and also it will pull in a, uh, I mean, you could see it's, it's defining a plane there. And that plane is also has to be defined for the flattened brush. But when I generally enable this, I'm saying my first click is uh, defined by the selected face and uh, even the first click defines the plane also. So now when I click and drag without lifting my mouse cursor, I get this uh, plane definition where I can, you know, get that nice hard surfaced corner. I can just keep doing this to get that corners there. So we have this option called plane offset here. Just when I click and drag it here, I'm getting a plane uh, from that stroke. And uh, if I want to offset this plane a little bit higher or lower, I can choose the plane offset values. A negative value will push that plane from that stroke inside, where the positive value will pull that plane outside from that uh, level of, you know, what it has to be achieved. So plane offset is that. And we have uh, this uh, plane trim option. So when I'm just clicking and dragging, I'm defining a plane. Okay. But when I just keep moving further, the plane and the points may you know go far away let's say if i just click and drag this is defining a plane and if you could see uh, these faces are very far from this plane and they are ignored because i have enabled that option okay so just when i click and drag and then move further and the uh, the trimming is not happening because this set of vertex points are very far from this plane okay and this distance can be controlled by the value uh, as you could see now i got a very smaller plane and it's this plane is very circular based on the shape let me just increase that and then when i click and drag the plane has now become bigger okay again you could able to see the shape is defined by the shape of the model i mean it's, it's uh, almost circular but you could see it, there's a cut here because of the model there guys i've shared the playlist of all the sculpting brushes uh, tutorials uh, in the description just please check that and also i request you to subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends thank you